Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie. And one of the questions that people are asking, or I've heard people saying, and I've even asked this in my previous video when I showed the footage, I'm not going to show this here again today because it actually got, uh, um, it may, I think it's getting age censored on my channel, but I wanted to bring that footage. But one of the questions that a lot of people have is can Diddy go to prison for this? Can he actually go to jail? And a lot of people are also wondering why this footage is just now coming out. Um, so I'm going to play the part about, you know, whether he can go to prison or not, whether he can still be charged. Now this is going to be based, this is based in LA, uh, in California. So we have to go by California statutes. And then we're going to answer the other question, um, about why is this coming out just now? Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. Now, that Instagram post from Diddy was back in December. That was not in relation directly to Cassie. It was referencing many of these allegations and lawsuits that he faces. Now, I have reached out to Diddy's team. We have not heard back from them today. But, Jake, I do want to point out there was a settlement deal between Diddy and Cassie. So neither of them can speak. But, again, we're still waiting to hear back from his team. Now, a really great point that you brought up up top, Jake, was what is going on in Diddy's world, right? We've all heard stories of Hollywood enablers and enablers in circles around uh, powerful people. But something that I want to point out, Diddy is one of the most powerful people in music history. He is a mogul. We have not seen any support in Hollywood. All of his famous friends, since these allegations came forward, we have not seen anyone come to his defense. And that silence is very loud, Jake. Yeah, Elizabeth. And actually, we're going to do this in reverse. So I said, why is this footage just coming out now? And it's surprising that CNN, of all places, are talking about enablers and handlers in Hollywood where, you know, they basically are part of the enabling and handling circle when it comes to the elites. But this is what is believed that uh, Diddy actually purchased this footage from the hotel in 2016 for $50,000. He was able to buy this footage. And I believe this is why, you know, all of this time Cassie has not had any type of evidence, but we also know that he's very powerful that a lot of people are saying, well, why didn't she just leave? Well, you saw there, she was trying to leave the situation and Diddy just went after her. And I believe in this case is why a lot of people have not spoken up about Diddy Grown men have not spoken up about what Diddy did has done. Even Kid Cudi, who um, confirmed that he tried, he blew he blew up his car, did not speak out. People were afraid. Now imagine being Cassie, being very afraid of him, and because it wasn't just him, he had protection, guys. He had layers of protection with the Holly Weird elites, and so. But now with his en enablers, and no one's coming out to his defense, as CNN has said. Well, that lets you know that they are they're they've thrown Diddy away. Like he's basically of no use to them anymore. For some reason, he's angered people, or I don't know, maybe because Cassie brought up this lawsuit and then it kind of snowballed and all these other lawsuits is, is saying we just can't deal with him anymore. But no one is has spoken up. All these people that is supposed to love him and his name is love and all these other things. This is why I believe this footage is coming out. Cassie never had any evidence of these things. And even if she went to the police and she had bruising and beatings and all this other stuff, we don't know who's been paid off. We don't know how, you know, he has high powered attorneys, how he'd be able to get out of that. This really is a no win situation for somebody stuck with Diddy. And it's pretty scary to think he may even have blackmailed her with evidence of other things that he was going to put out there to destroy her life if she tried to do this. So let's continue with this so we can now get to the part with can he be charged with a crime? With Wagmeister, thank you so much. Incredible work by the L.A. Bureau. Uh, let's discuss this with CNN's John Miller and Julie K. Brown, a Miami Herald investigative journalist who's been following this story. Also uh, best known, perhaps, for her work pursuing the Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking story. So, John, um, Cassie filed her lawsuit in November. The feds raided Diddy's home in March. Now we see this awful video, which is more than eight years old. And yet D Diddy has still not been charged with anything. I would think there would be grounds for his arrest in that video. Why hasn't he, he been charged with anything? Well, the video is out of the statute of limitations. Uh, the statute of limitations in California for a simple assault is a year. For a domestic violence assault, it was three years. Uh, they've moved that up to five years. But this is um, out of range for a state charge in California. However, 
Let's get back to that federal investigation. What HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, is doing, as Elizabeth framed it, is they are building a racketeering case, a RICO case based on human trafficking and allegations startlingly uh, similar that track those that have been made in Cassie Ventura's lawsuit and in the lawsuit by another individual who worked for Combs that tell these stories of people being brought in in the presence of weapons and drugs and so on. It's very much like what they did in the R. Kelly case, which got him 30 years in prison. So this charge, even though it's state crime is out of the statute of limitations, would be fair game in that federal case. Julie, uh, Cass. So as you can see, my mic is my, my mic is slowly drifting away from me. Um, so of course he cannot be charged in LA. He cannot be charged in California for this specific crime because of the statute of limitations. But again, there is, because if it's part of a RICO, it can go back as far as they want to, to tie him together for this sex trafficking and can be part of it. Now, one interesting point as well, just because Cassie cannot speak out civilly about what happened, if she is called as a witness into a criminal trial, she can speak out. So if she is part of a, a, a being on the witness list, when the feds actually bring charges against Diddy, which I think we're all pretty positive at this point, that's what's gonna happen. She can speak out and detail these things and any evidence that's collected or anything, even Kid Cuddy, there's like anybody, any allegations that have been brought against him and there's a witness to it, they will be brought into a trial. And it's, it's going to be, pretty uh scary for diddy i mean he already knows this but i i just find it interesting that he has this whole time you know if you go i'm going to do another video with um like going to his social media and the things he's been saying even 50 cent reacting guys if you know 50 cent he's had his foot on his neck he can't stand diddy um but if you see you know what he's been doing he's been saying the allocations aren't true and absolutely not and all these other things but it's just weird to me and then there's even people who are supposed to be of clergy that are be involved in this like td jakes is a friend of his but you don't hear him speaking out now people have said he's part of diddy's cabal that he is you know he's one of his um that they have some type of uh, sexual relationship that you know he's on the dl the down low and so you don't even you don't hear anyone speaking out against him i don't even i don't hear of any clergy i don't hear of anybody that's supposed to be a leader coming against this a lot of the voices are from me too and all of that where are all these people so this is telling me that this goes far and wide what is happening to diddy and i'm i'm wondering if he goes down is he going to bring everyone down with him and if he ends up having to do time like r kelly or like jeffrey epstein was going to have to do will he end up self-deleting or supposedly self-deleting because we know that they can get to him but let's continue this lawsuit claims that hotel security staff saw what was happening on surveillance and they urged her to go home uh, the lawsuit then claims that diddy paid fifty thousand dollars to get that footage from hallway security cnn has reached out to the hotel for comment not a hotel i'll ever want to stay at um, how serious would it be if they witnessed an assault did not report it and then accepted money to basically disappear the security footage. Well, there's certainly a question of negligence on the hotel's part. And by the way, he didn't, this just didn't happen in a hotel in LA. This also, these kinds of incidents have been happening in hotels in, in Manhattan and in Miami Beach as well. So there presumably could be other video out there. And in addition, a couple of the law, other lawsuits that have been filed against him allege that the, the, the that there is video evidence. And that is exactly what authorities were trying to get their hands on when they conducted their searches of his homes in Miami Beach um, and in California and LA. John, assuming that um, still charged, how important might this video be? Well, it's gonna be very important to You're going to show us the video, but first, Tim, um, and in city is eventually charged. How important might this video be? Well, it's going to be very important to the uh, assault charge. It's going to be very important to the credibility of Cassie Ventura as a witness. Remember, when she brought that lawsuit, Ben Braffman, Combs's lawyer, called it. 
uh, baseless, outrageous lies from somebody looking for a payday, claimed that she had tried to blackmail them, that she demanded $30 million. Uh, that video is stunningly supportive uh, of her credibility, of her allegations. It unfolds exactly as she charged it did in her lawsuit. So it will help her if she becomes a witness in that case. And it will probably be a chargeable offense in the federal case uh, if and when it comes. Julie, the allegations against Diddy go far beyond Cassie's story, of course. Multiple lawsuits filed in the past year claim that Diddy hosted what he called freak-offs, uh, sex parties so brutal that the young men and women would sometimes vomit and pass out from being drugged. They would be beaten. They would be raped. Um, they alleged that, that Diddy filmed it um, and directed his staff to change lighting or bedding to better display the people who were performing for him sexually. These are allegations. Um, does this remind you at all of the Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking case? And, and how do they get away with it? Well, remember, the Jeffrey Epstein case happened decades ago, so they didn't have cell phones, for example, or this kind of recording technology. So we're far ahead of that in this. Uh, and even though they have some of that material, I'm sure what they're also going to look for is bank accounts, evidence that he paid uh, people, including uh, people that provided him with underage um, victims. And that that's really the key here is uh, whether they're going to be able to show that he also was engaged uh, with sex trafficking minors, which um, is a very far more serious crime um, because of, you know, their age and also the fact that uh, uh, he has all this, you know, other video evidence that he was allegedly committing these kinds of offenses. Julie K. Brown and John Miller, thanks to both of you. So there you have it. You know, it, now you he can't be charged. Again, he could be charged part of the RICO case, but then he can also get an additional uh, assault charge, assault and battery charge for what happened there. And that, there were actually multiple charges. You know, when when <laughs> when you get charged with a crime, they don't just give you one thing. It's going to be just in that footage alone. There are multiple crimes it, it, that he can be um, charged with when it comes to the federal statute. So I think we know that this is the end for Diddy. What I want to see is who else is going to fall with this. Okay. We know there's, you know, he's been out and about in Hollywood, you know, in my entire lifetime, and he's been one of the elites. And so I, I would be interested to see if he fights back with any footage that he has, but then if he'd be scared to do that, cause they'll bring out more footage of him. But then at that point, if it's over for him, it's over for him. But guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.